So if you watched any of my previous videos, you might've saw this set in another video. Um, it's a 1940s WFL Zephyr Lug set, uh, mahogany shells. These things are super light. This is probably the lightest bass, lightest drum I own. <laughs> Even though it's a, a, a 14 by 26, it's a big drum, but the, between the Zephyr Lugs and I think the, the super thin mahogany shells, even though it's got fat re-rings in there, it's just super light. Uh, this set started out with a bass drum. I, I, I saw a bunch of orphans on the marketplace and I could just barely see a little bit of black and gold duke on the back of all these other orphans. And it was literally two miles from my house. So I, I messaged them and I, I got my truck, I flew up there. Um, so yeah, I paid 75 bucks for a bunch of orphans and this bass drum came, came with them. Um, there was some import stuff and then a couple really nice um, blue sparkle slingling toms, a uh, 13 and a 16 inch uh, floor tom. So I ended up selling those. So I, I'm basically into the, I was into this bass drum for nothing. And um, it took me a while to find the toms because I wanted suitable candidates for a refinish to match this bass drum or try to match it the best I could. I didn't want to buy a pristine WMP tom and um, strip it and ruin it. There's other people out there that need those original drums to complete their sets. Um, so it took, again, it took me a while to find suitable candidates to, to refinish. This tom had been stripped already um, and stained, like a walnut stain. Um, so that was perfect for what I was gonna try to do. And then about a year later, so it took me about three years to put the set together. About a year later, I found this floor tom. Um, I had found a couple really nice mint ones that were pretty expensive, but they were worth it for somebody that had an original set that needed the original finish to match it. This one happened to pop up. Um, so, I mean, this is two years into after I had the bass drum, I actually found a, a suitable floor tom. Um, this one popped up. It, it, it was missing the bottom lugs. It was painted with, I swear it was house paint. It was painted red, like bright red. Um, unfortunately, they painted it over the original finish, which was a blue and silver duco. Um, I would have loved to have saved the original finish, but there was no way to get that paint off without ruining the finish underneath. So I chemically stripped it. I sanded them both down and uh, I spray bombed them. Um, I painted like a motorcycle in the past. I've done a ton of spray bombs. I, I don't have a paint booth though. And I don't have a paint shop. I, I have the compressor and spray gun and all that stuff, but um, I'm just not equipped to do like a, a super high end um, paint job. So I rattle can these. Um, they came out fairly decent. It took me a while to find something that even remotely matched this gold paint. Um, you know, this is what? 80 year old Duco paint. And Duco is the, the brand of the paint, DuPont paint. Um, they made solid colored drums and the two tone like this with the black gold, blue gold. I think they might even did red gold. Um, blue silver, a bunch of different two tones. Um, so it took me a while. Somebody recommended this, this gold. It matches fairly close. It's not perfect by any means. And, um, the paint job came out. Okay. I probably should have tried wet sanding it and, and clearing over it because you can see a little bit of the dry area in between the, the gloss black and the, the gold. And I think that the clear would have probably helped um, shine the gold up a little bit more. It, it's almost like it lost a little bit of its uh, gloss. But um, I, I put them together and, and ran with it anyways. Uh, they're my drums. Uh, if somebody doesn't think it's good enough or close enough or whatever, it, I really don't care because they're mine. Uh, I think it, I think they match pretty good, uh, for what I was working with. 
Uh, someday I may reattempt to either clear over it and see how that does, or I may attempt redoing it all together. Um, who knows? It, it's playable now, and, it, and it's a functional set now. Um, they sound pretty awesome for 80-something-year-old drums. Again, they're the super, they're a really thin mahogany shell. I, I believe they're three-ply, and they got these big fat re-rings in them with almost no edge on it, just a round over. Um, but no relief cut inside or anything like that, which is pretty unique. Um, and they got the clip, the clips on it with the no flange hoops, which is really cool too. Uh, it's just a set with a lot of mojo. Killer sizes too, 13, 16, 26. I mean, how awesome is that? Um, but I'll get you guys up a little closer to it. Maybe uh, give a little rundown on the Zephyr Lugs for people that don't know what they are. Um, and I have a little clip of me playing them so you can hear them. And we'll go from there. So, I mean, if I get you up close, you can... You can see the gold isn't a perfect match or anything like that, but um, this bass drum is actually in really nice shape. It had a couple scuffs in it. You know, I, I tried to touch it up a little bit just to kind of camouflage it, not to, not to try to um, really blend it in or anything like that. Just, like I said, just camouflage. And these are the Zephyr Lugs right here so this is a wartime drum set i believe and i'm not 100 percent positive but i think this design was to save on metal because it's just a piece of metal punched out um and threaded that that's all there is to it there's no springs in here or anything super lightweight um but you can see a little bit of the fade that i was talking about where the the gold doesn't look as glossy anymore, but overall, I was pretty pleased with the way it came out. Like I said, it's my set. If somebody doesn't like it, that's fine. Um, but yeah, I'll, uh, I'll show you guys a little clip of me playing it. And, you know, again, if you, if you like this kind of content, like, subscribe, share, all that fun stuff. And uh, I appreciate you guys watching, those who do, and take care. Thanks.